Last night in Wilson Hall, the Center of Multicultural Student Services held an event in which Jasmine Rand, an attorney for the Trayvon Martin case, spoke about her legal experience. Topics included racial struggles in the United States, the Trayvon Martin case, and what she and others are doing to help solve this problem. Don't be afraid to entertain this difficult dialogue. Don't be afraid to be the student who raised your hand and said, I want to talk about race. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about the right to life. And I want to know why that right is denied to so many people who live in this nation. You know, how many times was Martin Luther King arrested? How many times, or how long did Nelson Mandela serve in jail? So Martin Luther King said, the moral arc of justice is long, but it leans toward righteousness. I feel a tremendous, I cannot explain to you the responsibility that I feel. I can't tell you how many times I question myself and whether what I'm doing is right, especially when I see people that are hurt. And no matter how many times we call for peace, we call for no one to behave violently, that's not the reality of what's going to happen when you have these large movements. After the event, we talked to the few students to get their opinion on Jasmine's talk. And while the overall reaction was positive, some students had less favorable things to say about the way she answered questions. I feel like she was more focused on, you know, like the the more legal aspect of it, but I also want to know more about the case. I want to know, you know, how to how she dealt with it. I want to know exactly, like, you know, her personal feelings about it. And I felt like she was went to, like the more professional route with it and didn't really give us the answer that we actually were looking for. And even with the questions for the Q&A, she didn't really answer the questions directly. She kind of like went around them and had to try to give an answer that she felt that would be, you know, more acceptable to other people. The fact that we're here in this room tonight, we have, I don't know how many people out there, maybe a thousand or more in a room talking about love. You're all at this fine institution because you're getting a great education or you're already professors and you're already agents of change. So that's how I know that things are going to change, because if we didn't care, you wouldn't have invited me here. If we didn't care, we wouldn't be engaging in this dialogue tonight. The best leader uses whatever he or she is called to as a servant to the people. So your first title is not attorney, your first title is not a politician, your first title is not doctor, your first title is not president of the United States. Everybody's first title is servant, because you're serving a higher purpose. Vision has nothing to do with reality. Vision is our dream. And we can't let go of the dream of how we see the world. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought a lot of what Jess had to say was really powerful um, and really inspiring, especially as a woman. Um, I also thought a lot of what she had to say was kind of fluffy and kind of problematic. And I felt like she didn't really answer the questions that were the most hard hitting and I think the most relevant to what's going on in our country. And that like kind of disappointed me.